Okay. I just watched Nassim Harriman talk about combining finality with infinite, which is basically what Einstein was trying to do. Um, and I'm very frustrated right now because the concept of science is that there is a final. And it's mildly annoying. Like right now, all of quantum science is based off of Planck's constant. It's based off this idea that there's a minimal, there's a there's an amount of space that is the smallest amount of space we can ever measure. And that's Planck's constant, it's a distance. All of quantum science is based on this number. So what Harriman did is he took that number, plugged it in to the vacuum of space, and found basically the density that's caused by a vibration in that amount of space and realized that all of space is dense. Basically infinitely dense, which is kind of crazy, but that's basically, it's like if you take a circle and you, you draw a triangle in it, and then you polarize the triangle, it turns into a tetrahedron. And then you draw circles around all the points on the tetrahedron. You can then polarize the triangles within those circles and then draw circles around all the points on that tetrahedron and it goes on and on and on and on and on. You can break everything down into, you know, parts, everything. But he took a, a stopping point and decided to plug in numbers with Planck's constant and found out that, I mean, Long story short, he found out that protons are circling themselves at the speed of light. But he really found out that if you take all the matter in space and compress it into a cubic centimeter, that it has the same energy. as if you take all the matter in a proton and compress it. I don't know. I don't know what he fucking discovered. He basically discovered that all of the density in space is... Fuck. I gotta go over this and read it again, man. Maybe he did all the math for it, and he's got all the math there plugged in with Planck's constant. Um, I guess if I'm going to complain about it, I really should know what I'm complaining about. <sighs> anyway, his concept is that what, what people think of as empty is actually dense, is vibrating at a density. As soon as I say infinite density, I start to lose myself. It's not infinite, but then it is. But if we're going to talk in terms of science, then it's not. So. I guess that's what we're breaking down here. Well, frustrated. <sighs> There's no point in being frustrated about it because that's just like being frustrated with life. Like, why be frustrated with it? But like, people find these these points, like Planck's constant, and just decide that's what it is, and they're not going to tolerate other behavior. <laughs> And it causes all this fucking chaos, even in the scientific community. Like, why shoot each other down? There's always other... As soon as we develop a better laser, a better magnifying glass, we're going to see the Planck's constant was a fucking football field. Uh, so what frustrates me about science, I guess I'll get this off my chest, is that people's their obsession with finality. I don't know where it comes from, maybe from life and death, the idea that when you're dead you're gone and that's the end, so there must be an end to everything. But you know, because of science we've been able to set boundaries and examine infinite space within the boundaries, so thanks science. Oh, I wish I, I want to recall what he... Uh, what he figured out about space, okay. The density of the matter in space makes up, oh that's what he figured out. 
the density of the matter in space makes up a very, very, like, point zero 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 one percent of the density of all of space. If you take all of space, use, utilizing Planck's constant, and, yeah, dude. Planck kind of come with another guitarist now, man. I'm a songwriter. Let's yeah, write a song, dude. Yeah, but I'm in dire straits. I gotta try to sell some of my junk. Fuck, man. I got. I I'm gonna play poker to win some money. Right, there you go, man. There you go. See. Ya. All right. uh, <sighs> so we figured out using Planck's constant. He's basically taking science, science's own weapon of finality, and using it against him, or using it for himself. So okay. Everything's vibrating at, at the level of Planck's constant. It's causing this much density. Now, if you take all the matter in the universe and compress it into a cubic centimeter, it's creating like 0.00001% of the total density that's being created by space, by the vibration. And his, his rationale for this is that vibration itself is density or causes density. That the only thing in the, in the hour and a half that he said that I didn't 100% just drop my guard and understand and believe fully is that vibration causes density. I guess it does. If you have a composed system, you know, composed. So basically, all this space is dense. Like, you could call it infinitely dense. It's fully dense. So it's transmitting information just like everything else. Um, you're putting information into it and getting information out of it at the same time. Well, I don't know if the same time is really accurate, but it's happening at the speed of light. Or whatever, but that's all due to Planck's constant, so there we go again. Around and around like protons.